Cappies, hello, hello, my loves. I'm so sorry I'm late, you guys. I literally, like, after the... <coughs> The Virgo video, I went and had dinner with a friend the other night and I came home and I fell asleep and I like, I don't know what this is. I hate it though. <laughs> I took Dayquil, I took Theraflu, like none of it was working. I took Benadryl and that seemed to help a little bit. So like maybe it's my allergies, but then it kind of made me nauseous. And I don't know if it's just because I haven't really been able to eat because I've just been like, oh, you know what I mean? <coughs> so I apologize. I'm here now. I hope y'all are doing wonderful. It seems like you are. <laughs> We've got the one, Lithia, the poet, and the kiss. <sighs> I mean, the one is the idea of, you know, like a really, this all has very much like a relationship vibe to it. You know, the kiss is a relationship card. It's my favorite relationship card because it's just that idea that like, no matter what, you can reach your hand out and that person will be there. Um, and I feel like my cappies, I mean, cappies and Leos get along really well, but like, you know, you guys understand independence, um, you know, and like, and you understand like ride or die and you understand, you know what I mean? Like, like the hustle, the drive, you know what I mean? Like you just have very, you're in tune with a lot of things, you know, but I feel like for some of my cappies and I know, you know, some of my cappies are married and they're happy and that's great. And you know, if this reads not for you, please leave it for however it is, um, for, but it does feel like you guys are really, I think just <clears throat> understanding a truth about, and even if you are married, you could just be like uncovering a truth about the person that you're married to because marriages go through lulls, just like everything else in life. <laughs> But I mean, the poet is the idea of like finding the beauty in things. And, and I don't know, I feel like there's just this sense of like, through all of this, I've, I've, di I've discovered like all of this beauty in you. And if you are married and you are like, just kind of like re-engaging with your marriage, um, you know, and like, you're just like, I've spent, you know, like I've known you for, you know, what, over a decade I've, I've, you know, like I've seen you through the good, I've seen you through the bad, I've seen you through you know, like the one to punch you in your face, but not actually promoting physical violence. But sometimes you just get that feel, you know, <laughs> but it's like, <laughs> even through it all, you know, like, like there's so much beauty to uncover. Um, I love that Cappies. I just think it's a wonderful, okay. <coughs> <coughs> LMG, you guys. I'm like, I'm gonna be good today. I mean, it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> I'm healthy. <laughs> I'm getting a tattoo today. <laughs> so, <laughs> um. The King of Swords, the Five of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and Judgment. I mean, there is just that idea of, of making a decision of like, no longer, I'm not going to be in my head about this. Um, you know, there's too much beauty at hand. Um, which I feel like kind of falls in with this, like the poet and Olivia, because the poet is the idea of, of finding beauty, right? I mean, poetry, unless you are someone who studies poetry, is an avid reader of poetry. Poetry to the average everyday person misses them entirely. You know what I mean? <laughs> like they're, it just, it's like falling on deaf ears. Um, and I feel like there has been a sense of feeling like there's just been something that's been falling on deaf ears. Um, you know, like speaking poetry to someone who just doesn't comprehend it. And, and I'm not sure because I mean, this would lend itself to the idea that like you, like judgment was passed and, and it was, there was a, there came a point in time where you couldn't just pour poetry over on like on deaf ears. And if they couldn't comprehend it, then like ultimately they're not poets and a poet can't speak to a poet's heart. You know what I mean? Like a, I don't know. I just feel like, like an analyst, like an analyst could never speak to a poet's heart. And 
I don't know, I get this feeling of like there being a sense of confusion, like maybe you were holding out or maybe, you know, you're dealing with somebody in this energy. I don't know. Take it what resonates, how it resonates and leave the rest. These are general reads and I've got lots of energy here with me and I'm super excited for it. So, you know, obviously you all do with it what you will. Um, but the King of Swords and the Five of Cups really does indicate the idea that there's just been a lot of confusion. You know, there are times in life when, it, and when it's like we're speaking another language and you're like, I don't know how else to, to express my love. Um, but like, I feel like every time I go to express it, it, it feels like it's like it's falling on deaf ears. Like you don't understand. And ultimately, like that's not that's never going to be OK. Um, but I feel like somebody does understand and maybe it's your person and you guys are, are pushing through it for some of you. I don't think that's the case though. I think some of you are, are connecting with somebody who actually speaks your language, who understands independence, who understands hustle, who understands ride or die, who understands all of these things, right? Okay. Copies. <laughs> Five of Cups again. Gracious sakes, y'all. <coughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> okay. The Two of Cups. <coughs> the Six of Cups. The Five of Cups. Separation, longing to be back together again, looking over things and feeling happy, but confused because if I'm happy, then why am I not like, like, why do I feel so isolated? Why do I feel so confused? Um, you know, like why, why do I feel like, I feel like I can look over this and, and have like these, like, I don't know, like this juxtaposition of emotion is what it feels like, you know, like how can I feel, oh God, my ex-husband, <laughs> Uh, he, he hates Taylor Swift, but, um, when we were going through a divorce and then getting back together again at the same time or one right after the other, because you know, the boys and, and there was this Taylor Swift song. I can't remember the name of it. I'm like 22 or something like that, but she's like, I'm happy and I'm miserable at the same time. And I remember him getting really pissed off about that and like turning it off. Like, you can't be happy and miserable at the same time. And I remember looking at him and being like, really? Everyone, everyone on the face of the planet has been happy and miserable at the same time. <laughs> you know what I mean? But he just, he, you know, like he couldn't understand the poetry behind it. He couldn't understand the emotion behind it. Um... I don't know why I'm just sharing. <laughs> Sorry y'all. It's five o'clock in the morning and I'm like, I'm here, but, um, I'm just, I've not been, um, super involved in reality. I've been mostly sleeping. <laughs> um, but yeah, the night of wands, the night of wands is action. Um, ready for action. I just, I don't, again, I don't know which side of the story you're on because I think that it, it depends on my <coughs> oh my cappies <coughs> maybe you feel like there's something that you're getting ready to do and for my cappies that it's not a relationship sorry I think you're getting ready to do something that you're like this is something that I've been really wanting to do I've been trying to do all of these other things and maybe they were just things that you had to do because you were like in order to get to here I have to get to here right like we gotta we got to finish school to start what we want to start. And I feel like there's an idea here of you really, you know, like you're ready to go. Um, you're ready to do this. You're tired of feeling confused. You're tired of feeling all of these, you know, negative emotions. You just want to do the thing that you want to do. You want to start creating the life that you're ready to have. You know what I mean? And it's frustrating sometimes when you're like, I already exist there in my energy. You know, like, when am I going to be there in my reality? Um, you know, and you have to pep talk yourself along the way and just be like, I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this for me. Right. <coughs> but you're doing it. All right, Cappies. Let's see what else we can get for y'all. <laughs> the five of cups again. Damn y'all. Damn. Every single deck, five of cups. 
Five of Cups, Five of Cups, Five of Cups. I mean, it's just a lot of being in your head, a lot of confusion, a lot of feeling like you just aren't where you want to be. You're just not getting what you want out of life. You know, I don't know. I just feel this, this sense of like, did I sell, like, did I sell myself short? Did I think that I was going to reach my, my, you know, like my highest point before this? And then having to really like, I don't know, just like, adjust that mentality. And I think all of us really do have to deal with that. So I'm going to go on a little bit of a thing, but I think it's a thing. So we're doing it. <laughs> but I worked with this guy one time and he was obsessed with people in their twenties, obsessed, you know, like he was like, this is the best time of your life. And this is the happiest you're ever going to be. And, blah, blah, blah. and it was exhausting being around him because it was just like, he glorified them, but he set them up to feel like they were never going to be able to accomplish more than what they had right then. And I feel like you've been struggling with that feeling of thinking, I'm never going to accomplish more than what I've accomplished right here, right now. And what a fallacy that is, you know? Um, but I feel like that's coming, that, that energy is what's coming to an end. <coughs> Again, with this readiness, like you have something that you want and you're ready to go for it. Cappies. Okay, let's do one last card for y'all and we'll call it a read. <coughs> oh my gracious. Sorry, y'all. <sighs> the pilgrim. It's funny to me because I feel like this went from a like a like a, a relationship lovey dovey mode to like a focused on what you're going for mode to, I, but to tie the two together for this, for this, the beautiful part about a journey is that there are so many different things to see, right? You go from, I don't know, like we were at the sand dunes and we were at the springs and, you know, like I just think like, you know, going fishing and going to the city and going to the, you know, I mean, like there's just so many different things and every single different thing that you do, um, you're doing it, um, uh, like with an experience of, of like what that part of the journey is and every part of the journey doesn't look the same. Um, you know, whether that's a journey in your relationships and a journey through your, you know, with your marriage, with your family, with your friends, with your development of your career, right? I mean, like you can, you can flip a switch and do something completely different halfway through, you know what I mean? Like at no point in time are you capped out at anything. Um, but I think that there, that this just feels like this, like pep talk my way through it. Got to do these things. Got to find that value. And it's the journey, not the destination, right? Because you learn a little bit about yourself at every single stop along the way, no matter what you're doing, whether you're doing the thing you love or you're doing the thing that you hate, you're like, I'm still doing it for the goal. You know what I mean? And, and I think you're, you know, like you're, I don't know. I just feel like this moving past this point of feeling like you have to pep talk yourself through everything. <coughs> And into one that feels like, like even though you had to take this, this journey, um, I feel like if you hadn't have taken the journey, you wouldn't have gotten to where you're going to get to go next. And you wouldn't have met the people along the way that you've met. And you wouldn't have had the ups and downs in the relationships that you've had to overcome. Um, you know, like this just feels like a very transitional energy. Um, and I'm so happy for that. Um, Cappies, if this does resonate with you, please do give me a like, share, and subscribe. You can be on either side of the story or dealing with somebody in this energy. Um, either way, take what resonates and leave the rest. And yeah, I'll see y'all again soon. Bye.